Hello. Um, so I'm back at home, and yes, I am lying down. Now that the adrenaline's gone, I um, I am pretty fine. And um, oh, I'm not sure whether that light is too much or not. The trip home was fine, although on the way back on the M4 was somebody Peugeot 205 who thought he was Ayrton Zella. So he was weaving in and out, but the traffic was so heavy I kept on catching up with him. Um, so I looked in the driver's window and he was about 20 years old. Shame. Uh, that sort of person causes accidents on the motorway. Anyway, I had a really good time at the conference. I think the speech went down well. What season of Survivor were you on? Um, okay, I'm a survivor from a train crash in the UK. It was called the Paddington train crash. And it was about 16 years ago, granted. Um, but it was pretty horrific. 31 people died, and 227 of us were badly injured, and I was supposed to be the 32nd victim. But for whatever reason, I survived, and I'm still here. And that's what I've been doing in Norway. I've been out at a conference, talking about my experiences and what I learned from it. And I think it went down well. I want to say a big thank you to Fleetget, who the company that hired me, um, Catherine and Thomas particularly looked after me brilliantly. I must admit, one thing I did notice about the Norwegians was that um, they do like their pickled vegetables. Uh, I've had a lot of pickled vegetables. Um, not unpleasant, but um, interesting. So I'm now going to relax. Now, one of the things with anybody who suffers from depression is you have to be careful. If you've had a high, like I have with speaking engagement, you will have to be careful because once the adrenaline's gone, your body then starts losing the chemicals that you need, particularly serotonin. Um, so this weekend, I'm going to have to be so careful about keeping my health up. Um, but I will report tomorrow about how I'm feeling. I'm going to switch my alarm off. I've been up at six o'clock most mornings um, with that blooming alarm. It would be quite nice not to have them. Um, so, I wish you all a good evening. I've got my glass of wine, which I think I deserve. And I will speak to you tomorrow. And as the Norwegians say, listen tack.